The method I'm going to be using to do these baby backs is called the 311 method. Everything was going to be so simple. I had it all planned. The ribs would go in at 1225. I'd wrap them at 325 and pull them at 525. They'd be perfect. Everything was going to work. And then the phone rang. But I'll get back to that later. It's called the 311 method. It's a variation of the 321 method, which is used for larger ribs, spare ribs, St. Louis cut spare ribs. For this, you're going to do three hours in the cooker naked with no wrapping. Then you're going to take the ribs out. You're going to wrap them in foil with a little bit of moisture. We're going to use some of our uh, raspberry rock barbecue sauce. Seal them up, put them back in for an hour, take them out, unwrap them, and put them back in naked for the final hour for a total cook time of about five hours. And for baby back ribs, that's usually about right. And you can adjust that at the end as you see. If they're not quite tender enough, you can let it go a little bit longer. I've had baby backs go anywhere from five to five and a half hours, but usually not much longer than that. So we'll get going on that now. I'm going to be doing three racks of baby back ribs today. I've already taken them out of their vacuum pack. I've rinsed them off, cleaned them up a bit, taken the membrane off the back, and now it's going to be time to rub them. I'm not going to be putting any binder on it, such as mustard or oil or anything. I've said in previous videos, I've never found that to be necessary. I find that the rub sticks just fine. If the day comes when it doesn't, I'll try that. But I think the rub will stick just fine to these ribs. That rub consists of 12 tablespoons or 3 quarters cup of light brown sugar, 2 tablespoons paprika, 1 tablespoon ground black pepper, 2 teaspoons kosher salt, and 2 teaspoons of chipotle chili powder. I just put that in a tub and mix it up, make sure it's nice and blended. Later on, we're going to be saucing these ribs. We're going to be using a little bit of a doctored version of Sweet Baby Ray's Raspberry Chipotle Barbecue Sauce. We've added some red wine vinegar, a little bit of brown sugar, and some molasses to it. And you can do it to your taste. You can use any barbecue sauce you want. This is what I like, and I'm doing it because these are named Raspberry Rock Ribs in honor of my friend Russell. I'll put a link to his website in the description below. He's building an off-grid cabin up in Canada, and he's named it Raspberry Rock. And I told him I was going to do this, and when I found this barbecue sauce, this flavor, I figured, perfect, fits just fine. Okay, now it's time to get the rub on these ribs. I'm going to do one rack right here and get the others after I'm finished with this one. So what we're doing here is we're going to get just a light coating. I don't want a heavy coating on this. I'm just going to rub it in. I want a light coating on both sides because we're going to get a lot of flavor from that barbecue sauce in the foil. And later on, if anyone sauces it while they're eating them. This is just going to give it a nice little kick with the chipotle in there. Now the next thing we're going to do is these ribs are just a little bit too big for my electric smoker. Just a little bit too wide. So all I do is I cut them in half. So that's what we're going to do now. I'm going to find just about the midpoint, right here between these bones. That's it. Two half racks of baby backs that are going to go in the smoker in a few hours. Before that, I'm going to put them in a Ziploc bag, put them in the refrigerator, let them absorb some of that flavor, and then I'll bring you back when it's time to get the smoker going. Time to get these ribs in the smoker.
everything was going as planned, but I was blissfully unaware that the clock had already started to tick down on my perfectly planned baby back smoke. All right, baby backs have been in for about two hours. Time to spritz them with some apple juice. Keep them moist. Then it happened. Hi, Irene, let me put you on speaker. Okay, hi, Ryan. Hi. The queen has summoned you to her service. Okay, that's a lie. Your application to NASA has been accepted. That didn't happen either. I need you to drop what you're doing and come down to the credit union to sign the loan documents. And there you had it, a financial institution. I could end up being there for hours. Best laid plans. I was gonna wrap these at three hours, I ended up having to run somewhere, sign some papers. It's now four hours. I'm gonna alter it a little, wrap it, take it off at five, hours and see what it looks like. Might need to throw it back on for about half an hour. So we're going to do kind of a four, one and a half instead of a three, one, one. Those are looking good. Okay, I'm going to sauce this up a little bit. Doesn't take a lot. Gonna spread it around on here. We're just gonna get a little more moisture in here. We're gonna wrap it up. Gonna keep it same bone side down, and that's gonna go back in to the smoker. Now to wrap the rest of them. Then I waited, wondering if I'd be able to save the baby backs. All right. Let's see how these are now with the 4-1 sort of method. Let's see if they're tender. I'm going to take one out, open it up, and see how it looks. That looks pretty good. I don't like them to be super loose, super fall off the bone. That is looking pretty good. But I think I'm going to throw it back in there for probably 15 minutes, all of them just naked on the thing. And once we take them in, we'll be ready to eat them. All right, we are ready to try some ribs. Those came out looking very nice. That, cut a couple. All right, we're ready to taste. Let's see. Oh. Just like I like them not falling off the bone, got a little bite to it, but very tender. Success. Even with all the challenges today. Good ribs. Thanks for watching. Just like I like them. Wait. Silence, doggies. <laughs>